Welcome to Cape Fear Court. I just wanted to show you a little bit in our medical kit. Welcome back, Cape Fear Court. All right, so we got an unfortunate situation. Um, that beautiful, beautiful fish that we got from, from the Koi Show, uh, it got sick. It's in quarantine. Uh, its buddy is totally fine, but it became sick. Uh, it, the stress and, and all those sorts of things, I guess, just um, it was, was too much for it. But it was good for, for 10 days. Day 11, a red spot. Um, and then day 12, uh, it also just, just kind of exploded. So uh, we, were, we treated it, we did record that one, and then we gave it, we gave it the shot, and um, it was good for, for over a week. And, and then uh, we shoot, what we probably should have done was given it more um, bait drill. We should have given it more shots. We gave it one good shot, and it's now, the ulcer in the last few days, it just kind of, it turned kind of red. Look, it looked normal. And like it was good tissue, and then it was it just kind of enlarged. Uh, doesn't it didn't look festering or anything, but yesterday um, it, it started to to almost like blacken around the edges. So now we're going to put it to sleep. We're going to clean the wound, give it a peroxide treatment. Uh, we don't have any betadine, but uh, we do have some blue coat. So we we have to do something. It's better to do something than nothing. So we're going to put it to sleep, give it a shot. Uh, treat the wounds and then tomorrow we're probably going to do the uh, um, maybe some partial wound treatment and at least another shot. So we're going to go shots of bait drill of one, two, three in a row, rest five, rest day seven. So uh, stick around if you want to see how we do shots and, and uh, just have some basic treatment. Uh, it's unfortunate, but um, this is what you got to do sometimes with, uh, with fish. So, all right, let's go. So, first and foremost, is you need clean water. So we're doing a water change right now. Um, this is actually just a little pool filter. Um, yeah, it works for small little little ponds or little containers like this. We have leaves around or trees, so the leaves drop in and we put that at the bottom and it picks up dust. We have a lot of sand around here, so, so that gets picked up by the wind and gets put in the water. So we're letting that sit in while we, we dump some water out, change it out of the filter. That's happening. Um, I will be doing a review on, on a bunch of filters, or I'm sorry, um, be doing a review on these cleaners of uh, vacuums so stick stay tuned for those too but now we're doing this and uh now we're going to catch a fish when this is filled up and, and start treating it and we just wanted to show you a little bit in our medical kit uh some of the things we have we could use a couple more things still but we have a pretty good set um all sorts of medications um you know measuring glasses always keep a little little bit of vodka just in case that's actually missing uh mixing prosy quantel um, you've got, we've got Neosporin if you need to. It's not the greatest. It does stick a little bit, but it does wash off. Uh, blue coat, Merthiolate, uh, the clove oil here, that, that's to put them asleep. Um, in case you got some kind of pills you need to crush up. We had something in the past. Uh, you know, the Minfin, swabs, methylene blue. This is a little scale if you need to weigh some stuff out. Tweezers if you need to do some picking. This here is, if I remember, yeah, that's a tri-side Neo. That's always good stuff to have. Uh, we might make a dip for this fish in the near future. Um, this is uh, the purple, um, potassium permanganate, oxalinic acid, prosy, needles to do injections. So we're gonna do some injections today. Rags, you need to hold, hold the fish uh, or you need to transport them. Uh, good plastic bags to transport. Uh, the bait trail, this is what we're going to be doing. This is what we're going to be giving them a shot with. We got our rates right here, and just in case. So, this is overall our medicine kit. You now, peroxide, some other rags here, or, or, or clean, clean cloth. This doesn't look that clean, but it's actually brand new. It's got a multicolor, kind of looks, looks dingy, but it's actually a um, microfiber, so really easy to grip with. All right, so let's get going. All right, so first we're going to put the, the clove oil in. Um, it's best to do a little bit at a time rather than putting all of it at once and then throwing the fish in and then putting in the shock. So it said, now I have three gallons in here and it says 12 to 16 drops per gallon. Um, so what I'm going to do is start with five. Once it comes out, there you go. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, so I'm going to mix that up. Let that get all over the place. 
and then we're going to set the bait reel. We're going to get that ready, and uh, so we're going to get that all, all together. So, all right, so now we're going to do the syringe. A little trick is to uh, bef before you before you draw draw the, the amount that you want. So draw it with air. So we're at 12. I'm gonna go 13 just to be safe. Right there. Actually, I'm gonna go to 12. I'm gonna draw that. Then you insert this into into the bottle. Add the air, and then draw your desired, which is gonna be the 12. So we put the air in, now we draw out. Shoots there, 12. I'm at 13, I went a little bit just because I see a little air bubble. Okay, so we're good. So now this is ready. We're gonna put this off to the side. And now we're gonna catch the fish and uh, start getting it ready to go to sleep. In case I noticed, um, I didn't say it earlier when we were taking the, the vial. So this is the dimensions. These are what we have. We have Batril 100 and for the size of the fish. And then this is the rate that you're supposed to dose with. So we're at 12 inches. We're going with the 0.12. So that's how we got our dose. Milliliters. Yeah, milliliters. I don't know what I said, 0.12. Um, but yes, yes, here we go. So we're going to add a couple more. Probably four more. One, two, three, four. Uh, one and a half. He's not, he's not slowing down yet. He's a little slower, but we want him a little, a little more. Start slow, you can always add more. You can't take it out as easy. He's still pretty active, so we're gonna do another another five. start where he kind of starts to lose his balance. You did it a couple times a little bit, but when you put your hand in there, yeah, it's still pretty feisty. We don't want him to, we don't want to hurt him when we're trying to handle him.
it well. So you get a pen drawing. I understand. We need to have a little bit more of a plan because there's it's on all sides. So do you want to do the top first? Because this is going to be dipped in the water when I tip him up. Do you know what I'm saying? this towel up a little bit on my bottom side. Take that towel where my thumb is and move it like over the back of my hand. so it's not dipping in the water that it has the blue coat you're supposed to avoid as good as you got. The gills are not. You just dipped it in water though that was filled with blue coat. Now you want to grab a gauze to see if it's dry, like touch it and like grab, like get the extra on the side there. See it dripping down. I guess we should bring in more medicarium since you got on your hands. Yeah, that's probably best. Ready? Breathing better already. Alright, one thing we always want to do is biosecurity. 
So here we're spraying everything down with alcohol. Make sure that everything is nice and clean for the next time anything has to be used. So I already sprayed the nets down. So I'm gonna spray it all down and then let, let all the alcohol kill it all off. So be nice and clean. So big, big time important. Okay, it's been five minutes. Very active, so everything's looking pretty good. Looks coming up to eat and threw a little bit in there to see how he was feeling. And this has been about 15 minutes or so after release. So it's the uh, the anesthetic doesn't have much. It's not a very long-term effect, and he went straight to hungry. So that's a good thing. So. So far it's looking good.